Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I am Fatima Tujiha Borna. Welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, today I will show you how to uh, show the COVID-19 uh, real life data. That is uh, total corona cases, recovered uh, cases and how many days there. And yeah, let's do that. But I am using here uh, HTML and for the live data getting live data i am using here bigquery well uh, for that uh, for a uh, creative folder i'm right here a covid19 tracker then under this folder i created file called index.html here i create a uh, basic view that is the body this portion and if you see this is this part is one, then this take, and this part is actually this part. So this is zero, and and recover case. This is also zero, and this is zero. But uh, in the browser, it is showing the live data. How? I will also show you. And since uh, and this is the image that is uh, moving animated one. This is here. It is changing. Since we are using jQuery for live data that's why I include here and that is the file that is here query I all I download all this from the browser and just put it I will share all this code so don't worry about the code and just uh, see how it done actually we are using jQuery that's why it is jQuery and for design bootstrap dot mean dot js and also here Boot, uh, bootstrap.min.css for the design and uh, for um, moving if you see when it is uh, loading initially this just uh, increasing the number from zero to something and for that we using here animate if you check if we are our main uh, the data we are getting from this CS, uh, .js. so if you comment this one and save and come to the browser color shifter if you see it is zero because initially i write here that is zero zero and zero so when i just um, comment this line so go to asset folder then js then function this is our main so first of all since it is the query file so i just put it here so it will meaning that it's jQuery file from here it will start and this is the end and then after this code and it is uh, ended here by this line it is meaning that document that's means uh, here is the files the CSS all the file things files include uh, these kind pages are actually called DOM and that is the document so when the document will be ready that's mean the when all the files that mean this this image this image the uh, yeah, css behind it when it will be uh, loaded do these things well so when the file is loaded we guess what we did that we write a jquery code here and that is face then this one so this face a uh, method what will uh, do that it will retrieve a uh, resource and the resource is here and this is if you see this uh, this is the live uh, API link that is I uh, right here if you see they are uh, giving you the live data so you, you will find a lots of <coughs> API link who uh, they are uh, giving the uh, live data that is JSON data and and, and this is a JSON format and if you see uh, how the JSON is JSON actually write this way that is the key name and this is the value this is the key and this is the value this is the key and this is the value this is how it's happened if you uh, want to study more I will link to this link so you will understand what is JSON actually it is a uh, syntax that is storing or in data so we can easily gather this normally in uh, api link the data 
they give actually the JSON data. Uh, when uh, this phase, so what it will do, it will uh, take this JSON data from this link. That is from this link. Okay, first it take. Then uh, this, then what will be, when this promise will be end, uh, it will uh, return a promise. Uh, it will send a promise. Um, promise is an object actually. Uh, it actually say that the work is done. That means the data they send it, we get this. Um, promise is a big uh, area. I hope you will research about promise. It's a, a very uh, good uh, concept. But I will just um, briefly I will say that a promise is an object that uh, helps you to say that this work is done or maybe is, this work is not done. So uh, it will uh, say that, um, that the, it is loaded and the uh, resource or the data is loaded. So then it will come this then, there's uh, successfully the data is loaded. And if you see this, uh, okay, this is actually this one. If you see This line actually uh, written as this. Yeah, this is yet six function yeah, probably. That's why it is uh, written like this way. If we go back, what happened? Uh, this uh, data when it is loaded, uh, we are just uh, parsing it as a uh, JSON data. If in case it is not, so uh, it will. Uh, give the data as a JSON data. At the same time, uh, when then uh, this promise is done, when this work is done, it will come here. And uh, this data, uh, similarly same way, function. Data is uh, parsed as a JSON, it will come here. And this data, if you, uh, if you console this, uh, we we can see what that actually it is. On right click, expect, then console, control shifter. Okay. If you see that is hello data, that is actually our this hello data. Okay. After that, this data. So which is this data? If you see this data, actually this data. The JSON data that is we getting from this link. So document dot get ID. So this is the ID we are calling this ID. This ID total count. If you go to our view page, total count actually here. ID attribute. That's why here it is called ID and that's name total count. So it will come here total count. Okay. If it's if initially it is zero and now what is happened zero and then uh, it is saving then inner in uh, inner HTML that is inner HTML is meaning this this area will be actually equal to equal to data dot confirmed data actually this data and dot by writing it dot confirmed then this is this is a key name. If you see this key name actually, this key name confirmed, then these dates then recovered. So if you see by then this ID equal to this, date count equal to this, and this is ID actually, this ID this id and this id Respect, uh, respectively this data will be there this system will be changed but finally when uh, the promise is settled the resources settle so it will come here and what i did that if you right click in a spec there is total three data this data this data this data all this, this data we give these three data a same class name that is count people that is zero that is count people count people 
count people since all this data actually uh, we want to show as a animated countdown that means 0 1 2 3 that's the final data so we in uh, the data the animate uh, process is same that's why we using class this dot actually meaning the class attribute that is this class uh, count uh, people is a class attribute and this is actually going to loop that mean first it will come here then there then there so first it is come here coming here then what it did for the animated part that is uh, if you see again it is in the, the way it is countdown animated so for that part first uh, what it did that with this this is actually meaning that it is uh, pointing the current position okay that is with this count people so first these count people so we are here and then uh, we just uh, this line actually uh, setting the uh, property of a value this is setting the property of a value so uh, we take a counter that is initially zero and then we animate it that is for the animation part that way it will come so jquery this animate function uh, this have some options for animate uh, this is the options for animation that is duration that is 2000 millisecond the animate will take and this is the counterpart that is this takes that is zero then it will be incremented so the initial part is it's zero then it is the step that is uh, uh, the animation there is a each step like zero then one two three the this way it is incremented so zero is one step one is another step so another way in each step what they will do that uh, they will take their take from the live data is the each step data the zero one to this point so it will first if the data is string it will uh, pass through the um, float number then uh, what it will do that if there is any uh, decimal number uh, or floating number then it will remove by using two fix suppose there is a number like this is dot this is so if the number first by first plot uh, by maybe this one by this one it will do 635.687 so it will be a uh, number then it will uh, by doing this zero that's mean there is no so it will be just 636 so final this number will uh, put this uh, area so similarly when this count end it again it will come here this option then uh, this part will be calculated this similar way uh, if you do this again this it will become there so so the uh, thing is uh, pretty much similar way this is the concept i think you understand how it is working another thing that i want to uh, share that is if you see there is a image uh, that is uh, circulated actually this picture is there png file it is a png file it is not a uh, like gif or animated image uh, so for this uh, animated portion if you go css folder then it tell dot css So this is the portion that is uh, be, uh, been around. If you see here, we give a class name uh, been around. So, and this is the animation code. The, for this part, it is how it is actually in the motion, the circulate motion. So that's all actually, it's super easy. I hope you understood the way how it is working. So yeah, hope this video is helpful for you don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel bye take care